the first year I was in college was kind of the first year NIL really started getting going and stuff. So as a recruit, you know, you weren't able to see all these deals that a lot of these guys are getting offered to go play at colleges. Cause so many times you see it now, like the NFL, where just, these guys will go to the school that pays them the most money, which is just completely transforming sports and college athletics. Definitely think there's a, a number thrown around in price that guys can go get if they transfer to a certain school. So, you know, I've definitely been familiar, you know, as crazy as that sounds, it's just kind of the nature of college football now. And it's just becoming a, a business. Most people just don't really know too much about what NIL is yet. So a lot of the time just like, okay, like what am I giving this money for? What are we getting out of it? How can we make this a win-win situation for both parties? I think the most important thing is just being able to educate everyone on what NIL is and how to do it the right way. So I'd say that's kind of in reality, the biggest kind of difficulty or, or challenge point where it's that people have to work through because people obviously don't want to just give away money or give away deals when they don't really know what they're getting out of it. I think especially in like men's programs and like big football schools, like you see kids going to schools for those NIL deals. I think maybe that that'll transition more into the women's game soon. I feel like it's really hard for women's sports, especially like, I mean, Cal Poly is not like a huge like athletic school. So that definitely makes it like more difficult to like get at NIL things. I mean, for some schools, it's an advantage if you can offer kids like this much money in NIL, they're probably more likely to go to your school. And I think just women's sports have for so long been like kind of in the shadows of men's sports. Slowly but surely, women's sports are starting to like close the gap on like be marketable. And I think the more that like we can push that and like be open to like women's sports and like marketing women's sports, like the better off it'll be for like student athletes with NIL deals being female athletes.